Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority is helping Douglas Shoal to recover after a ship ran aground in 2010. This is a world first. No one has ever done a reef clean up on this scale before. Located about 90 kilometres from Gladstone, near Heron Island, Douglas Shoal is home to diverse marine life and is part of the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area. When the ship Shen Neng One ran aground in April 2010, it scraped across the shoal for 10 days before it could be removed. During this time, tonnes of paint, which has banned chemicals that kill marine life, scraped off the hull and fell to the sea floor. Corals and the reef structure were crushed and broken. This unstable rubble makes a difficult place for plants and animals to live. In 2016, we secured $35 million from the ship's owners to clean up the shoal. From January to June 2019, we resurveyed the shoal to more precisely map the physical damage and chemical contamination. We tested more than 230 sediment samples for contamination. We mapped physical damage using sonar and underwater video. Traditional owners joined the field crew, seeing traditional knowledge combined with science. Sensors are constantly recording water quality, waves and currents, critical information for planning a safe cleanup. All this data will be combined into maps, showing where to focus our cleanup efforts. Early results from the most recent surveys show that even after almost 10 years, damage and contamination is still obvious. Without our help, the shoal may never fully recover. This would leave this part of the Great Barrier Reef looking like a graveyard, unable to support the vibrant community of plants and animals that once called Douglas Shoal home. The next step is to evaluate different options for helping the shoal to recover. We will use information from similar projects around the world along with data collected recently at Douglas Shoal. Once we have planned the best approach, we can find the right people to carry out the cleanup work. We hope to call tenders for the cleanup work starting in 2020 on the Australian Government's AusTender website. We expect the cleanup to be finished by 2022, but it may take many decades for the shoal to fully recover, even with our help. All along the way, we are monitoring environmental changes and sharing what we learn. Find out more about this world-first project on our website.